Aloha, it's Katie, and going into college, I had zero friends. So you can imagine how scared I was that first week. More than fear though, you can imagine how desperate and anxious I was to get on campus because I didn't know anybody. I was starting fresh, moving thousands of miles away, and I couldn't say that I had someone I could text if I wanted to grab lunch. I'm currently an incoming sophomore at Cornell University, and if you are an incoming freshman, I feel your worry. It is totally normal to be concerned that you won't make any friends. I think everybody feels that way, but realistically, they know, or I hope they know, that you are going to make friends in college. Don't worry about it. To help you boost your confidence, this video is going to be 10 ways to make friends in college. In fact, there are also 10 ways I've made friends in college and how my friends have made friends in college. Let me tell you how I made my first friend. So for the first orientation event, we had a dinner. I remember going into that cafeteria, seeing all these people that I knew were in my year and just freaking out because it felt like high school all over again where you have to walk through the high school cafeteria, pretend like, you know, you had purpose, walk the direction as if you had friends. But deep down, I was like, I don't know anybody and everybody scares me. You know, to delay having to find a table and sit alone, I went straight to the line because I was so jittery, heart beating as I was in line just to get food. Should be a really normal thing, right? But I was just, you know, looking around <laughs> trying to find someone I could make friends with and thankfully the girl in front of me turned back around and in that split second decision, I just decided to introduce myself. I just smiled at her, said hi, just tried to initiate something so she knew that I was interested in being her friend and we sat together and we're friends and we still say hi to each other a year later. If there's anything you take away from this video that I don't think people stress enough is it's not just about how you make friends, it's about when you make friends. And I will tell you now that the first few months, because everyone is trying to adjust to college and meet people so they have that support system, they are going to be the most open, desperate, and likely to be still prioritizing their social life before academics kicks in. This has been my experience, but imagine if there's a point in your college life that you're ever gonna to wanna to meet people and go as often as possible, it's gonna be your first few months of college. And if randomly saying hi to strangers isn't enough for you, then here are 10 more ways you can make friends in college. Number one, orientation week. That entire week is dedicated to you to get to know the school, get to know your classmates. You have zero obligations. You are there to just have fun, learn about your school, and enjoy the first taste of college. Try to be the best version of yourself that you can. First impressions matter. I imagine this is gonna be the best state you're in because when academics and extracurriculars and all those commitments start piling up, you are going to be stressed. So make that extra effort to find connections, similar interests, hobbies with these people because you could easily reach out to these people again. Number two, in your dorm. There are going to be a ton of social events for the residential hall or building that you live in. Get to know your floor, get to know people living across you, attend your house events. Friending people in your dorm is really helpful and something I didn't do as much. My dorm was really new, so everyone just loves staying in their room. And this was the case for my floor, but I know other floors that did make that extra effort in the first few weeks to get to know their floor. Make friends with people you live with because these are the people you can easily reach out to if you have an emergency, if you need something, if you wanna get food with people. These are the people you can go across and knock on their door. Third thing is extracurriculars. This is huge because there's so many subsets under extracurriculars. You have clubs and these can range from recreational to professional to random Cornell squirrel watching club. There's also sports. Don't be intimidated because your college, especially if you're in a US university, will likely have many levels suited for you. For example, there is the collegiate varsity level, but there's also club level if you're not as intense. If you like doing sports for fun, there's recreational or intramural where they'll just host friendly competitions and you can get, grab your friends, form a team and enter a competition. Some schools also have Greek life. You can join sororities, fraternities, and this isn't just limited to your stereotypical party all the time, sororities and frats, because you'll learn that there's a lot more to each sorority and fraternity and their missions and there are also business and pre-professional frats that you can explore if you're interested in pre-med film. Pro tip is even if you don't want to join one, all of these sororities and fraternities will have something called a rush week. I tried it out my freshman year, didn't join one, but I met a lot of great people that I still see, that I still talk to, are really helpful, especially because 
a lot of these people will be upperclassmen and one thing you'll know is that having a mentor or someone older than you who has been in your exact same position a few years ago can offer you so much wisdom so much advice in a new environment that you have no idea about they want to welcome the new batch they want you all to succeed it's beautiful because you'll want to pass that same spirit down onto the future batches and just create such a collaborative welcoming environment that makes people feel really right at home number four events again college has so many opportunities and different kinds of events you have mixers and socially focused events that i found a lot of cultural clubs hosted so i checked out the filipino one the chinese one i checked out a lot of other cultures that i didn't even identify with but people were just so welcoming of it there's also a lot of speed dating network sessions coffee chats they're literally events for you to make friends but in general there are entertainment events you know concerts movie screenings there are academic focused ones if you're interested in research or getting a job on campus you can talk to people and meet other like-minded people i think that's the beauty in making friends in college is wherever you are naturally inclined to go whether or not it's a social event you will find similar people gravitate towards the same events you do and i think that just makes things so easy for you because you didn't even have to go out of your way to make friends you just showed up at an event someone else chose to show up that same event and boom all it takes for you is to reach out to that person and you could form an instant connection fifth thing is parties and nightlife i have mixed feelings about making friends here because there have been times where i've made friends with people but because they were really drunk they didn't remember anything and the next time i saw them and smiled at them or waved at them they they just didn't recognize me, you know? So that's the kind of weird thing with trying to make friends at parties is there'll probably be a 50% retention rate. Yes, you will still meet people who will remember you, but if I were to go to a party or some night event, personally, I would go with friends I already know it because I'd be there to have a good time. That said, nightlife is bound to be big in colleges. There will be a lot of people there. Number six, lunch. Okay, so the second friend I made in college was also in a dining hall. <laughs> always where the food is. I was at a dining hall, I got my food and trying to find a spot to sit. I just sat down somewhere in front of someone and a few moments later after digging into my pho, I just started a conversation with someone. I said hi, asked what year they were in. I was very terrified to find that they were a sophomore by the way. I was so intimidated by upperclassmen but they were some of the most friendly people I've met. You'll soon realize that most conversation goes like this. Hi, what's your name? What year are you? What major are you? Where are you from? So have that ready, but you know, nobody likes talking about the same things over and over. So come up with some interesting things to say yourself. I find that the weirder things you say or the more you talk about things that people don't normally ask, the more you'll be remembered. Number seven, mutual friends. This has also been a big way for me to make friends because sometimes I'll ask to grab lunch with a friend and they will also have a friend who wants to grab lunch with them. So you end up meeting your friend's friends and introducing your friends to your friend and your friend will introduce their friends to you. So even though I'm in a fairly big school with 14,000 undergrads, around 3,000 in my year. My time in freshman year has felt very small. So you know how they talk about when you choose colleges, you can make a big school feel small, but you can't make a small school feel big. It's kind of that thing. You're not gonna run out of people to meet. Number eight, high school alumni. You should try reaching out to students who graduated from your high school who are already at the college you're going to. If there are no alumni, like in my case, then you can try reaching out to your friends or your family who may know people who have gone to that school or are still attending that school. If you do share a similar school mascot, there is bound to be pride there and people I feel are more willing to help you. Number nine, we are in the digital age. Meet people online. I know for the incoming class under me, their Instagram group has been popping. Their class of 2023 Facebook group has been active. Your school might even have their own social network like Cornell does called See You on the Hill. You can meet people everywhere online. Get the conversation started, look for roommates there. I've met up with a lot of people who just shot me a DM on Instagram or vice versa. And my last point number 10 applies to every situation that I just said, but it's just to be a kind and genuine person. It saddens me sometimes how once you get into really cutthroat careers or 
mindsets that people are just out to screw each other over. They're looking at people just to see how they can benefit from them instead of how you can help them. Now my experience in college has not been like that at all. It's been super collaborative. People have been really <laughs> just amazing people but I'm just referring to this in general because your school may have reputations for being like that if it's really prestigious or elite so it's just something to be wary of if your campus sounds like that and you're kind of worried about it just try to be a light in that campus because you can reverse that culture I feel like it would save people a lot of tears and frustration and anxiety if they knew that they could lean on their community. So as you move forward to whatever college you are going to, I hope you choose to promote a community that's built on love, genuine care for your peers, and a want to see them succeed. Not just academically, but also as a person because college is a time where you are transitioning into adulthood. You are growing so much, maturing incredibly fast at this time in your life. And the people you are surrounded with are those who will help you far beyond just college. Oh, and the last thing and most important thing for all these is if you make a friend, don't forget to get a contact method. Get their number, add them on Facebook, add them on Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. Just make sure there's a way for you to contact that person again because if you don't, you're just gonna get swamped by all the people you meet. You're gonna meet a lot of people. You're gonna meet Mr. and Mrs. Popular. I'm just telling you right now. Make the effort to reach out to these people again after everything is settled down or ASAP if you think you really vibe with this person. Don't let them go because you might not know if you'll see them again. Also, I will be your friend if you need someone to wave at when you're walking. Just feel free to say hi. I appreciate it a ton when my friends do that. It's the best thing to walk through a big and gorgeous campus and to see familiar faces. I hope this video eased your worries. I promise you, you will make friends. Before you go, let's keep in touch. I'm only a DM away on Instagram, Twitter, and social media, KDX. Subscribe to my channel. I upload two videos a week. I do a lot of college lifestyle vlogs on this channel and more low-key, unfiltered, weird me videos on my second channel, Daily Katie. Leave a comment down below because I pin one of your comments every week, every video. It's my favorite thing to read your comments. The earlier you are, the better. Thank you for getting through my plugs. Best of luck with college. This is such an exciting time for you and I wish you the best. You're gonna have a bomb time. Bye guys.